Hi Fiona, would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah, my name is Fiona Pettit O'Leary and I'm the mother to five children. Um, two of my children are on the autistic spectrum and I also have Asperger's. Um, would you want to tell us why you decided to run in the general election? Yeah, of course. Um, I'm running in the general election as an independent candidate because um, I've basically had enough of our government today ignoring the inequality that is ever growing in our society towards those with a disability, the autistic community, their families and their carers. Um, we are continuously targeted, um, especially with the cutbacks, like my son is 23 now, my eldest son, and I've noticed a steady regression in supports and services since he was diagnosed in 1995. And it should be going the other direction. We should, we should be engaging with positive change and you know, having our children have greater opportunities, but it seems to be that we are going backwards and we're actually being ignored. I've brought this to the attention of many politicians over the last few years, all the inequality, the use of unregulated dangerous products on autistic children, and they are not dealing with it. We don't have an autism bill, even though it was drafted four years ago. They're ignoring our rights, and that's a simple fact. So what do you support? I support the Disability Federation, of Ireland and I support their campaign Disable Inequality. Um, our organisation Autistic Rights Together are basically you know demanding the same rights for the autistic community and I want to join with them in this election to prioritise those with a disability, the autistic community, their families and their carers because I think it is a priority and I think that for the last few years nobody has been really listening to us. We have awful human rights violations going on in Ireland and worldwide towards autistic people and those with a disability. We have restraints and isolation rooms in schools. We have the use of these dangerous unregulated products like MMS, which is actually a bleach, which is being used as a cure-all for autism and other conditions. This should not be happening in 2016. It's absolutely crazy and it's not acceptable. And even though, you know, we get emails and letters back from those that are, you know, responsible to make change, they're not actively doing anything. Um, I have spent hours of my time writing and ringing and begging politicians to listen to me, to listen to the rights of the autistic community, and nothing has been done to date. I can't even secure a meeting with the right people that I need to meet to address these issues. There's an arrogance there, and they're getting away with it, and it's time that we stood up and fought that arrogance and tried to make changes ourselves. So I'm really proud of uh, the Disabled Inequality Campaign, and I think it's a wonderful opportunity for all of us to come out, um, not just those with a disability, but everybody out there with compassion in their hearts to fight for justice and for positive change uh, for the disabled in Ireland today and for the autistic community, their carers and their families. Okay, thank you, Fiona. You're welcome.